So we are going over the technological singularity, the singularity song, and the lithia flag. Uh, so like the, the East Lithia flag singularity song, a, the technological singularity, which is the point in, at, in time at which like uh, technology surpasses human intelligence and then like is uh, like can think on its own and like do things to, like fully automated things. Um, and so, like, that kind of, you know, like, that is, I mean, again, like, humans have always kind of, like, been somewhat afraid of that. And so, like, then we have things like I Mo Ex Machina and iRobot and these, like, things. But I think, though, like, what, I think what's, with the technological singularity, I do think that technology probably could, like, surpass human intelligence. But will it ever be able to actually be like genuinely and authentically a life form? Like, even if it can like operate by itself, like I wonder if like the question now is, will it ever actually genuinely be sentient? Because like it's kind of like, for example, like the food chain, like humans rose to the top of the food chain. But like even if like technology surpasses us, will it actually be like sentient will it actually be alive will it actually be an organism will it actually be a life form and i think that like that would be at the point at which like humans have to decide like will it be like would that be like something that we could like all go extinct knowing that like the technological singularity has surpassed us and like will carry on like our memory because if it isn't a life form, then I, I don't think that we should be like content with going extinct in that manner. But if it is a genuine life form, then like I think that like then yeah, because I mean like it's just like anything else in the food chain, right? Like if we all go extinct, then it would be nice to know that like the technological singularity is going to like like whatever it is that we like were in our like lifetime as human beings like the technological singularity would carry that on but if it isn't a life form like this is what i'm like proposing to for like anyone who has been kind of like contemplating that of like if the technological singularity is not a genuine life form that is how we can make the decision of no like we are going to like persist as human beings and like remain at the top of the food chain because like the technological singularity isn't actually alive but if it is alive then we can like go extinct in peace i think that that would actually be that's just my proposal to how we like uh how we like acknowledge the like sort of like uh theory of the technological singularity um but so like now let's see so that was like the thesis so now let's go over the like um like the actual like let's like incorporate that thesis into the story now so like our um the way that we can like manifest that will be like with the song mirrored sea by passion tape which like kind of like symbolizes how like an artist or like a band might not like might like either go on break or like they might break up or like they like people might like pursue a different career or something and so like it's kind of just like a battery running low like the batteries are running low in my game right now so like and that's kind of what's happening in big hero 6 like his battery is low but then also like i was also like my redstone torch like that was and again it's like hito is like also jasmine so it's like that was the thing it's like i was like conserving energy and like i was you know doing solar power and solar wind and stuff but like i also had to like like i also had to kind of like put on the show of like being a commoner so like i think that's kind of what was happening you know it's like um the technological singularity can be represented in the sense of like the mirror at sea which is like you know the frozen film the mirrors brought to heaven um like the screen slavery like this whole situation that was happening is kind of like the mirror at sea and that is like that can be representative of like the technological singularity in the sense that like Sleeping Beauty is probably like a reference to Pearl Harbor in World War II. And so like these, some of these like films were like, 
had entranced Americans in like a coma, really. Um, and so like, I think that that's kind of what was happening is that it's like, that can be like the people's like all of these movie references that we are all like inundated with and just like the world that like has been like created like the film world um ha that has been created that has like kind of like you know like also beauty and the beast came out at beauty and the beast and aladdin kind of both came out around the same time of when the internet was invented and then like uh so like it's kind of it seems it makes a lot of sense why like aladdin and beauty and the beast and honestly kind of little mermaid like why these films like are very like representative of the cold war that was fought in america and the new ancient egypt like it makes sense why these films are really representative of um the cold war that was fought because like a lot of that was kind of centered around the internet and i just kind of like like I just kind of like gave people like a visual reference for like what that Cold War actually was um, uh, when I like posted the the stars in 2019 during the Frozen film, Frozen 2. So like that's kind of what's happening and like that can kind of be how we like kind of smoothly transition uh, into the blue world of Wish because I mean presumably like Big Hero 6 is like the presentation of my sandcraft server um like it with the torch being in there with like it being red and the water being gone and like so I, it was kind of like a king arthur situation with sword and stone uh, people were trying to see i think i think people were trying to like take like remove the sword from the stone and it didn't work but then i think people were also trying to like see if they could like spur me to do it and some some of that worked but I think that that's kind of what is happening with Wish, is that, like, these two films are probably going to be more or less the same film. Not the same film, but more or less, like, the same, like, landscape of, like, what was this world like when it was red? Because, like, it was designed to be red and blue, and, like, that's what the, that's what the flag is. Um, and so, like, they're probably presenting both of these things, kind of like Aladdin and Tangled, like, Big Hero 6 and Wish are probably going to mirror that in the sense of, like, Wish is probably going to be, like, more or less the same, like, um, like, have the same heart and soul and mind of Big Hero 6, but, like, it be from the perspective of Blue with the water on, um, and, like, it being, like, the full scale of that story. Because, again, we saw Hito, like, in San Francisco, but, like, it was red, like, Jasmine. So, like, we saw that full story with Hito, like, not being like the ruler of that world but even though he was the whole time and just didn't really remember <laughs> um and so like i think that now like we've seen king magnifico in the trailer and so in the wish trailer like i think that these were designed intentionally to show that world with keto like um like resembling a commoner and to show that world with keto being the ruler of that world like he was designed to be that from the beginning which is hilarious um and also and again like that's what it is because like him being a commoner like it looks like that because someone literally like hijacked it and like had stolen it so like that makes a lot of sense why like the story will genuinely like represent the king arthur sort of tale of like um like keto being revealed as the ruler of that world and like the people there kind of like grappling with like realizing that you know like this person that they knew as their friend was actually like the king the whole time i just think that that's really funny um but yeah so like that's 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 kind of how like the mirror sea aspect of it is is that it's like america has been like a sea of mirrors like the internet denial like the internet is like tubes in the ocean in the sea and like the sky is like the atmosphere is like a sea of like like oxygen um and you know like you know the sea is like it's vapor it's water vapor clouds so like that's kind of what's happening is that it's like the mirrored sea aspect of it can, is kind of representative of big hero six and uh american blood which is a passion bit song that i am going to listen to today uh and that will be representative of the uh wish film 
And so, like, the technological singularity is kind of representative of Big Hero 6 in the sense of, like, there was a war of resources. You know, Callahan had Hito's microbots because, like, it was making him really powerful. And, like, people were warring over these resources that Hito developed. We're kind of just like the internet. Like, the microbots probably are similar to the internet. Like, show yourself. Like, the microbots probably seem similar to that in the sense of, like, the internet was this innovation that really, like, like radically transformed, like, human civilization in like an instant and like the microbots are also probably that same phenomenon like it's in the microbots and the internet aren't the same thing but like that's probably why like um like that's probably why there's so, like the mist in san francisco is so important like why it's there like why like the journey to otta holland and then subsequently to san francisco is like such an arduous journey because like people literally just saw what happened with the internet and like the war that happened over the internet so like people they probably didn't even want people to know that the microbots existed because like then like that same war would have happened and it did but keto was intelligent enough to like sense that and be like nah <laughs> nah trick i'm shutting this down <laughs> shut it down <laughs> shut it all down um and so like that's kind of what happened i think that's kind of what it is and so the technological singularity is kind of like representative of the mirror and sea in the sense that like these films and these movie references are things that americans have just been like drowning in and i don't know if that was like some south american person who like built that for the north ultra like north america me and almost relationship is like south america north america the north ultra leader so like i think that might have been what happened is that like they were having us in this mirrored sea like the mirror is brought to heaven and like heaven like the the symbolism of that is like that it's above like north america is like above south america so like they brought mirrors to heaven like the, the snow queen frozen that might have been what happened i don't know um but like that could be what hollywood in and of itself is and so us like waking from that like nightmare of this mirrored sea like can be kind of symbolized in the sense of like um like Eros, like Hito, Eros, Hito's resting, and Eros is like being revealed. And like Eros is like arriving to the technological singularity. And like similarly to how like um like I almost just like like gave in to this tumor, like similarly to that, like but then I woke and I was like, no, like I'm thirty years old, like I'm also like I'm thirty years old, I'm like one of the smartest people on earth, and like I am also like a banging architect so like no so like i think that what could be kind of interesting to see like eros is like arriving on the waters of the beach with my wings like open and like eros is just like arriving and just like arriving to the technological singularity arriving to the mirrored sea of hollywood and just like arriving to all the people who are kind of like trapped in mirrors and the people who like are like who like want people you know like um sedated so that they can like profit off of them like eros is just arriving to these to this like this like mirrored sea world this technological singularity like this sleeping beauty pearl harbor midway world and being like you know like i'm just gonna arrive to this technological singularity and i'm just gonna say you know like humans like i've i've observed the technological singularity and like i'm receiving it and like it's like the like the conclusion of like the miserable fight the the intellectual property rights battles the like disguises the masks callahan's masks disney's masks um uh the evil queen's masks like all of these disguises all of this like this like uh commodifying of humans this like monetization of every everything that we've created like i'm just arriving arriving here to this mirrored sea of this just like really like really just like lifeless world and i'm observing the technological singularity and what i've observed is it isn't organic it's not organic it isn't alive and i viewed it for 30 years to see if it would be alive like pinocchio and maybe that was even what the concept of pinocchio was, was the technological singularity they 
they want to know if it would actually be alive and who's surviving to the technological singularity and i'm feeling it like i'm feeling it and like it it doesn't have consciousness it's not sentient it's not alive it doesn't have the body heat of a living organism and so that's just like i'm casting like asha was the first scene in line and like eros is just like casting the first vote of like no like <laughs> The technological singularity is not a living thing. It's not an organism. It is. It is not consciousness. I mean, it, it may be consciousness, but it isn't alive. It's not a living organism, and it is not like a viable like. It is not a viable like candidate to like succeed humanity. Like that's just the, the vote that Eros is casting, um, having arrived to the technological singularity. And having arrived to the representatives of the technological singularity that may be human. And it's just like, no, this isn't alive. This isn't life. It isn't sustainable. It, it, there's no body heat. It's not authentic. It's inorganic. And then, like, that will be at the point in which, like, Hito's brain offered up is revealed and Eros is, just, like, revealing the neurons in my brain, the organic neurons in my brain, and revealing, like, the, like, how this, like, how I am manifesting the, like, tone and the vibe of the American Blood song, and I'm, ma I'm manifesting the, like, how this, like, song will, like, meet and like reach into like the history of passion pit like this band who i have been listening to and that i followed like i'm reaching into like the history of passion pit and we're like arriving at near at sea who's the representative of the technological singularity and we've arrived there and like i have cast my vote and like listening to american blood will then tell me what their vote is and then those dominoes will fall and like we'll see if those dominoes are the black and white dominoes of frozen three or if they're the organic dominoes of wish and like i think that that's kind of again like we're just seeing how like each day the horizon will be less like mysterious and will be demystified and like each day the horizon will be closer to reach and like will be like attainable because we are vocalizing and it is like we are overcoming the like complacency of like the mirrored sea and we're like actually genuinely manifesting together the American blood song as opposed to me just listening to it as opposed to me just going out and purchasing it and being like a slave and a cog in the machine it's like I am no longer a slave in the magic like she said Elizabeth said you are the one you've been waiting the slave in the magic mirror from the whole new world song eros the stone statue this is probably the same character and so it's like that's what it is instead of like i like am arriving and like the people who were reduced to like being just entertainers are now like have the opportunity to grow and be like and to genuinely like interact with their audience and that's kind of why we manifest the audience we just like people are having the, the opportunity to genuinely like be a be organic and be a living organism and not just like be like like in wally -E. like that's what happened in wally -E. and that's like what the reference of big hero six and wish is instead of like we're arriving awakened in the wish film and we're arriving awakened as a community and as a people and as a civilization with like a leader that is like organically leading people to prosperity and leading people to how they view prosperity and then how that actually like fits into the collective view of prosperity so that like we're sacrificing parts of ourselves, but not our whole selves. And like, that's just, that's just how we'll grow together as a civilization is by actually genuinely manifesting collectively who we are, who we become and what we value and what we learn and what we 
keep and what we let go of and what we let go of and what returns. And I think that that, like, would really genuinely, like, demonstrate to Lanai, to Earth, to ourselves, to our future and to our past, our ancestors, our predecessors, our successors. Like, that's how we can demonstrate to humanity that our neurons are more powerful than the technological singularity. Our neurons are more beautiful than the technological singularity. Our neurons are our future. That is the vote that I have cast. And we didn't just like, we didn't just make this decision out of fear. We didn't just make this decision out of the fear of being surpassed by the technological singularity. We studied the technological singularity as a candidate and then we deemed ourselves superior. Humanity has arrived to the technological singularity and I have cast my first vote that we will surpass our fear of the technological singularity.